Well, good morning and welcome to Pajama Preaching for Saturday, the 2nd of May 2020. It's a bright sunny day, but looks very cold out there. Today's reading comes from The Life of Jesus as Told by John out of the Bible Society's Who Bible. Chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. But I'll go back to chapter to verse 59. Jesus said all these things while he was teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Even some of his disciples found this hard to swallow. Aware that they were wavering, Jesus warned them, If this offends you, what will you think when you see me return to my Father's side in heaven? God's Spirit brings life. A physical body is nothing without it. I speak with the power and authority of the Spirit, and so my words give life. Yet some of you are about to turn your backs on the offer of a lifetime. Jesus had known from the start which of his followers would desert him, and even that one would betray him. That's why I told you that you can only come to me at my father's invitation. This was a step too far for many of his followers, and they began to slip away. Turning to the original twelve, Jesus asked, What about you? Do you want to leave too? Peter spoke for them all. And where will we go? When you speak, we come alive. We don't just believe. We know from personal experience that you're the Saviour. Like in yesterday's reading, we've got this thing about people being, are you, are you offended by it? And if people are offended by this, by God's word, as Jesus says, you know, what are you going to think when you see me returning to heaven? Or more importantly, what are you going to say when you see me when I come again? And Jesus knew that some were going to turn their backs on him. He knew that Judas was going to betray him. But he still loved them all. But the disciples that this is describing, I think, is a much wider group of people. And when he gets down to the original twelve and he asks them, that's when Peter says, We know from personal experience that you're the saviour. Having trust in people can be really difficult during these COVID times. We're trusting the words of politicians, scientists, friends, the internet, so much stuff. Some people are thinking, well, I know better than the, the, the government. I know better this darn lockdown. Now I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do my stuff. I'm going to come down in a caravan to, to Devon and Cornwall. The lockdown doesn't apply to me. And that's sad. Because they're ignoring the knock-on effect. Having trust, my mum, as I think I've told you before, taught me how to spell and taught me times tables. And the patience that she had with me on the times tables was amazing. When mum was diagnosed with the dementia and life became very difficult for her, I came and lived with her to look after her. Here's my lovely mum. That's Joyce. I had the sign, sorry that side, the sign on her door so that she knew it was her bedroom because she'd forgotten the bedroom door that she'd used for 20 odd years. Mum before dementia taught me how to spell, taught me the times tables. With dementia slowly bits of understanding disappeared and with the disappearance came fear seeing shadows. Mum thought there were things scurrying along the skirting board. 
seeing a shadow of the light on the ceiling, she thought water was coming through the, the roof. And at Christmas time, I put the Christmas flashing lights behind the curtains in the window. And mum thought the, the house was on fire because the lights were shining through yellow curtains and it looked to her like flames. All I could do was to reassure her. And with mum's dementia, she'd forget that I'd reassured her and be worried again very quickly. And that cycle came along. I was very blessed that mum went into a care home with amazing staff who had phenomenal patients, much more than me. And they loved her as much as I did and still do. So there is, for us, memories, memories of pre-COVID, memories of now, thoughts about what it's going to be like. But for today, we need to remember this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And on my bookshelf, I found this book from 2009 from the United Reformed Church. On the days when staying in bed is more appealing than venturing out, stick with us, God. As we struggle with our weaknesses, the body we've got, and the one we wish we had, show us what we're really worth in vigour and in frailty. Give us a true sense of power and a life full of grace. And if I can just add to the prayers, Lord, just be with all those who care for somebody today, in whatever way that may be, and the new challenges they're facing with COVID. Lord, let them know your presence. Amen. Have a good Saturday.